Alien creatures. We work together, live together, um, have done for several years. Several years. And we're an art duo. How many have you done on um, one? And it's a split the travel down. Formationism is a term that we uh, created for a movement that we started. Its essence is about combining process and concept in equal measure. So we brought these chairs up to Scotland and um, basically went into the woods during the daytime and composed the shot and then we'd set the fetch on fire and the moment of illumination would light up this forest so you'd see the white of the snow reflecting up and for this brief moment you'd see the forest and the chair burning take the image and then grab the snow put the snow onto the chair stop it from burning out completely and then we'd go to the house and then we'd chop up the rest of the chair and then change the it and uh, wood chipper and dust wood chipper and blended it with the and then we left it to soak for months. Months and mulched it, filled it a uh, little frame and then poured the mulch out and compressed frame and made a piece of paper from the chair. So thus, that chair is this piece of paper. And so the image can't exist without the chair because the chair is providing the light to make the image and then the chair is the image as well. So therefore that is, the, that is formationism. It's quite awesome, you can't see anything on it. They'll do that and then it'll just disappear. All the big public performance installation works are about inspiration, about taking away people for a moment and giving them a sense of wonder without lecturing to them, without preaching to them. That's the most powerful thing because it will stay with them for years later. <laughs> Alfration is a series that we started shooting last year and we're shooting it through the whole course of this year in different places. We've done it in London, in Miami, and then we're continuing to shoot in New York and in LA. Um, so all of these pieces are shot directly onto positive paper. So that means there is no negative. So we have a, a giant camera. Made out of a Globetrotter case. So Globetrotter make custom cases and they made two uh, trunk cases which pull apart concertina uh, with bellows in the middle. Then we load in the positive paper directly into the back of there. So instead of having a negative like you would have in a normal camera, then we load in this piece of paper actually that size. Um, the exposure times are up to say, 25 seconds. So people have to sit still for quite a length of time for it. And uh, then each one of them is hand coloured and gilded with 24 karat gold. So the hand colouring is not retouching, so you can't change the image. Yeah. All you can do is put almost like a filter on top of it. We put things on social media, put things online, and we're all liking, 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 and what we're saying when we're liking things is obviously we're offering our kind of adulation to somebody else. And so it's kind of this concept that, you know, 200,000 likes, you get a, a golden crown. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. They're cool. I'm going to put them up so that everybody from outside can actually just take those images themselves. But Walter and I will be in moving around, going around here and taking the photos as we go throughout the whole kind of throughout the performance. Effectively, just use flash on your phone. Absolutely, and the whole piece is kind of like referencing the relationships, obviously, between social media and people's like sense of celebration and sense of isolation and different, you know, it's not kind of making a set statement. The reference in the title obviously anon, meaning both anonymous and the not too distant future. The idea is for people to think, they come here and they actually just implant that image through the sense of surrealism, fun or wonderment, that, oh that's, inter that's interesting isn't it, the glowing chair, but also hopefully it impregnates that a little bit further where you think, it questions you know, Instagram, tweeting, Facebook, and then old age for the younger generation, but also old age for the old generation now who, are, who don't connect through these media and have no idea they even exist. The flip side of this is the completely celebratory element of social media and that kind of connectivity and sense of adulation. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Hashtag Anon, yeah.